All right, we're getting all access right now. This is the prototype room. Usually people don't get to go past this door, but safety first or second, whatever you have time for, we're gonna gear up and prepare for the unexpected and see what they're working on back here. Kevin, let's check it out. In here. Um, we got welding over here, and we got more 3D printing and CNC machining on the other side of the room. What kind of parts do you guys actually use a 3D printer for? What kind of parts pop out of that bad boy? Um, we do almost anything. We uh, got a bike basket right there behind Patrick. So basically you just kind of design it on the computer, press print, and just as your office printer is going to put a bunch of boring words on a piece of paper, this thing's going to pop out an awesome 3D mock-up of whatever you want. Three bike frames, water bottle cages, pretty much anything you want. And what kind of materials is this thing printing on? This one's PLA, nylon, does carbon fiber, Kevlar, fiberglass. Any kind of crazy mad scientist ideas you guys got in the works right now that you can tell us about? <laughs> nope, not at all. There are ideas here, but not stuff that they can tell us about, I don't think. You always gotta wonder, you see something that doesn't look familiar, it's not a bike that ever made it into the line, you gotta wonder if that's an old prototype or something new. Of course they're always gonna tell you that it's old, but then you see it in something new and realize, oh, I saw that. We got new stuff <laughs> undercovers right now. Okay, yeah. They knew we were coming and we're sneaky, so they're a step ahead of us and they put everything under sheets. These are a little bit higher end printers. Uh, Lupe could tell you a little bit more about them maybe. How's it going Lupe? How you doing, man? What kind of stuff are you guys cooking up back here? Uh, this is our little easy bake oven back here. Um, we do plastic parts, different durometers. Is that the material right there? This is this is a, a material of a hard resin and a soft resin blended. Um, we have samples up there of some cool stuff we've done. Each each time it, it, it makes a pass, it'll lay either the soft resin or the hard resin at the same time. So there's there's no assembly required. Nice. Everything's basically one piece. Yes. Like, built in a bunch of different stages. Correct. Right now we're, we're going to start a saddle, so the saddle team will have that part three hours. So, so that'll be like a saddle prototype, yeah. just a way to get it out real quick and test it. Yep, just a visual. Check this out. He's actually printing out a seat right now. Unlike a typical printer, you can't sit on this thing and get a nice pressed ham image of your buttocks. And this is the prototype Superman seat grab seat. You know, you just grab on back there for mass extension, get all the way behind the bike. Up here, you can't quite get as full extension as you want, so 3D printing, prototyping, a nice little grab handle for your Superman C grabs. From rubber to metal, we're gonna go check out the CNC department. So with the CNC, we uh, where that's additive, where it builds from nothing and weighs the weight down at a time. We start with a big block and we whittle it away until we end up with the whittle part that we have. Just a whittle part. Just a whittle part. Look at the whittle part. It's been whittled away. It's so cute. It's all whittle. Ooh, is that a stem? It is. So I'm making two copies of this little 35 uh, millimeter jump stump. Yeah. I might go on a bike for. Perfect. You know. <laughs> so did you do this on purpose? You or are you just this is what you're doing right now? Yeah, just got lucky. This is a perfect day. You get to see my bike half painted. Get to see the stems that we're working on. So look, little sneak peek. Bontrager prototype 35 millimeter jump stem. Been going through a bunch of little revisions, but this is the freshest one off the press. So by the time it, it's available to you, we've broken all the protos, tested all the rubber compounds, whittled out away a bunch of them, torture tested them, and then they're solid by the time everybody everybody's able to put it on their bikes. With this stem, we just have a little bit more to go. At. It's the last setup. You want to run the machine? Yes, I do want to run the machine. This is going to be cool. All right. Stem coming up in three, two, one. Look at that, here we go, check it out. Yeah, so that's just cool to keep the chips uh, away and to keep the temperature of the cutting tool a little bit lower, otherwise it would get all gummy and kind of melty. It's a pretty trick looking stem, right? And to think that earlier today it was just a block of aluminum. Love it. Good. All right, thank you. Happy to make them for you. Yeah, thanks a lot, nice appreciate it. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. So it's pretty awesome just wandering around here because you get to look up and see what's hanging from the ceilings. Just old ideas that maybe never came to fruition. Maybe old ideas that may get revisited at some point. Look at that old crazy looking downhill bike right there. Wonder what their plan was for that. Looks like 29 inch wheels. Is that a taste of things to come? Or is that just a mad scientist experiment that never panned out? I don't know, wait and see. 